Hello. Um, how are you guys doing tonight? Hope you're doing good. There's a lot of stuff in the news that um, the mainstream media, they want you to look here, but not there. And it's about this ordeal with Petraeus and General Allen. Let me just get a little bit of liquid courage, if, if you don't mind. Don't hate. I am shy. Although all my friends will tell you that I'm not shy. But I am. I'm serious. Hold on. the man here with me. Yeah. Let me set him right there. That's the balls. He's the balls. Okay. I want to talk to you guys about something that's been in the news. It's a few things. Let's connect the dots. Okay. Don't uh, give up hope. This is actually good news, all right? I want to talk to you guys about something here. Last spring, let's talk about a few things. We got to lead up into this. We had the Secret Service, a bunch were relieved of duties because of sex scandals. I have my paper here just to make sure I don't miss anything. Then in the spring, we had Panetta, I believe it was Afghanistan. He went and had a kind of rally with our soldiers, American military soldiers, and he asked them to disarm before they came into the rally. Not good. Our military, uh, <laughs> I mean, you guys, these guys, they're the brave men and women of our country. They love our country. First, that was a red flag, big time. Obviously, our Gov does not trust these brave men and women, our sons, our daughters, our brothers, our sisters, our mothers, our fathers, who are serving for this country. And they recognized that right away. Then we have a Navy commander over the summer relieved of duties from a submarine, the USS Pittsburgh. His name is Ward, Michael Ward II. He was relieved of his duties over in a uh, some sexual stuff, really. Just like the Secret Service, you know. Um, anyway, so then we have a submarine commander, Navy officer, Captain Michael, I hope I'm not saying it wrong, Wigan, Weekend. He was the commanding officer of the Southwest Regional Maintenance Center out in California. He was relieved of his duties. Then we have a Navy Rear Admiral, and his name, I'm not even going to try it, because it is like, I don't want to mess it up. I will provide links in the description, okay, so that you guys can get to the story. I've already made a YouTube video about this, this Admiral being perp walked off the USS Dennis. This is big time unusual. He was in the Arabian Gulf. Uh, it's a flat top Navy. It has all these um, air support. This is where they take off a touchdown to. And it's highly unusual for somebody to be relieved of duties sent back to 
to another place while they find a replacement. Okay, then we have Army General Ham. Now, I don't know if this is true, but there's rumors that he was arrested when he said, screw it, that he was going to go in with his forces to help Chris over there in Libya with the Benghazi incident. Now, we have CIA Chief Petraeus resigning over sex. Really? Come on. Come on! I mean, what? It's okay to lie, cheat, and steal, but it's not okay to have an affair. Everything else is okay. Kill us with radiation. Kill us with chemtrails. Take all our money. Make us slaves. But hey, don't mess around. This is, this is, there's something not right here, people. Something's not right. Now, Army General Ham, who Obama's saying he's still giving his full support to. I don't believe it. Obama says a lot of things. Whatever he says, you can bet it's the opposite that he's going to do. Always the opposite. Always, 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 always. Okay. Um, anyway, so we have Petraeus. Now we have Army General Ham. We got all this going on. Okay. Listen, I want to tell you, it's not about sex, and it's not about Libya. This is about, I don't want to say. I'm hoping you can read between the lines. I'm going to tell you that these people who were relieved of their duties believe in our country. They believe in our constitution. They love our country. They love what everything stands for here. It's not about sex. What I'm trying to tell you guys is there's a bigger picture, but I don't want to give up the game plan. I'm hoping you guys can see what's going on here. All these people. we got the army we got the Secret Service, we got the Navy submarines, we got the Navy Air Force, not the Air Force, but the Navy Air Flat Top, the, ad, the Rear Admiral. We're covering the bases. Do you see what I'm saying? These people are the ones who can make or break a government. I have to tell you something. Right before I made this video, two military people left comments on one of my videos right before I came here. It made me cry. Because <laughs> it just, um, reinforced my beliefs the military is good. They're, they are, um, it's my belief that this is not going to go the way the UN, Obama, and some people like the bankers and Wall Street think it's going to go. Mm -mm. No. And that's why these people are being relieved of their duties. It's actually good news for us because we know they're not being relieved of their duties for sex people. Don't believe that for a second. I mean, look at what we're dealing with here. Scoundrels of all scoundrels. I think they have a backup plan. They know way more than we do, but they're the only ones who can save us.
they are the only ones. And I keep in touch with people all around the world. And I'm going to tell you, it's not just our military who's awake. All of the militaries are awake. All of them. They all know who the bad guy is, okay? They do. Alright? If you see Russian forces on our land, don't be scared. I'm not saying there's not going to be more pain ahead. I'm not saying that. In fact, I would say get alcohol, get cigarettes, so you can barter with these foreign militaries in case they come on our land, okay? But, here's the thing. This is going on in all the countries. Certain people being relieved of their duties. This isn't, uh, this isn't um, a fluke. There's a reason, and it's not sex, and it's not Livia. The f big brother and big sis, they got their nose all up in everybody's business. Do you hear what I'm saying? They're trying to hamper whatever plans might be made. I'm trying to talk between the lines here. I don't want to give up any game plans. I don't even know for sure if there is a game plan, but I'm pretty sure there is. This ain't going down like some people think it is. And I'm going to tell you, no worries, people. Listen, everything's going to be fine. I just wanted to get that message out. Our military, man, and, and most of the militaries around the world, they know what's going on. I'm not saying there won't be no pain. There will be. Um, and to the people in the military who have wrote me, I love you guys. Oh, my God. America loves you guys. We love you guys so much. I don't want to start crying. But they know what's going on. They see what's going on. So don't be scared. Don't have fear. No matter what happens, there's something. Don't think that. Don't, don't look at the news. Don't believe their stuff, okay? Look at the big picture, people. Look at the big picture. I love you guys. Take care and have a good evening. Good night, people.